Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this problem, they give us a position versus time graph, and they want us to take that and figure out what the person's velocity was at 10 seconds, 25, and 35. And so whenever we have a position versus a time graph, we can take the slope of a line or the slope at a given point, and that will give us what the velocity is. So for 10 seconds, for example, the whole line right here is the same slope, so we can find what the slope is from zero seconds to 20 seconds because it's easier to work with to tell us what the slope is right here as well. If you remember, the formula for the slope is always the change in the rise over the change in the run. Obviously the rise is the y-axis and the run is the x-axis. And so anything delta is always final minus initial, and then we have run, final minus run, initial. Why does the slope give us the velocity? If you think about it, the formula for the velocity is equal to the change in the x, but what is the change in the rise? It was the change in the position, and what is the change in the run? It's the change in time, but we just wrote the formula for velocity, so that is why the slope gives us the velocity because the rise is the position and the run is the time. So we could of course rewrite this so it's x final minus x initial but it, and then over the t final minus t initial but it's this, the same thing just worded differently essentially. So now let's find what the velocity is at 10 seconds. So we have x final or rise final was 100 meters. So 100 meters minus the rise initial was 50. So 50 meters divided by the run, which was 20 seconds for the final minus zero seconds for the initial. So that gives us 50 meters divided by 20 seconds. Now you can plug this into your calculator if you want, but it's going to be 2.5, just doing some mental math. So the velocity for 10 seconds is 2.5 meters per second. So now let's go to the velocity at 25 seconds. This one, 25 right here, if we come up to where the line is, the line for this section is flat, meaning there is no slope to it. The slope equals zero. And so that makes sense because we're telling us what the position is here. So since the position is not changing, it's the same as saying the person, the bicyclist is essentially standing still. So he's not moving anywhere, zero velocity. And then lastly, we have 35 seconds. And here we have this section will give us the slope for velocity at 35. The final position is zero meters. Initially, it was at 100. And that will all be divided by 40 seconds for the final and 30 seconds for the initial. So that gives us a negative 100 meters divided by 10 seconds. So again, doing some mental math, we can get rid of these zeros. So we have negative 10 over one or a negative 10 meters per second. So these are the velocities for t equals 10 seconds, t equals 25 seconds, and t equals 35 seconds from the position versus time graph.